My horse lost his pasture meat today. I put another horse out with him, but he is still pacing and crying out. What are some ways I can help him cope with his loss? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Alyssa. That's sad. Yeah. That's always um, a tough one. It, yeah. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a vet, but I'm also a horse owner, and I've been yeah. through that. And um, it's tough to go through it yourself, but it's also hard to see your horses grieve like that. Um, there's, there's unfortunately not a lot of science on this, but, you know, this is one of those topics that maybe don't need science to tell you what your gut says um yeah we know that uh hu humans obviously animals all feel grief very powerfully like i'm sure you've seen the videos of elephants you know standing yes. over a baby or something and like the primates like chimpanzees that are mourning the loss of say a matriarch of their group or something so um everybody ex experiences loss they know um and horses being such emotional creatures they can they can suffer this very profoundly um, so I, I think her idea of putting another horse out there with the one was a good idea because there's a saying loneliness magnifies grief. So mm. even if it's not that horse's favorite buddy, um, you know, they're herd animals, they're social creatures. And so having somebody there to, to talk to and just be a friend is, um, it's a good thing. Um, the, the best thing that an owner can do is, and I don't know if she had, it's, it's not always possible, but if you can, let all the horses, but especially the, the horse that passed away, his, his closest friend, let them see the dead body. I was going to ask you, I've heard that before from people, and I was going to want to get your thoughts on it. Yep. Um, like I said, they know. They know when, it, when an animal is not living, and they'll, they'll um, investigate thoroughly. They will, they will uh, smell, they will, they will muzzle, lick, um, they'll even, they'll talk, some of them will paw, and it might take some time, and it can be very hard to watch, like it, it's, I can feel myself getting emotional, because I've done that for horses, it, it can be tough to watch, but it's the kindest thing you can do to let them have closure, to let them know, because think about it, if, if a horse is suddenly gone, from an, their, their area, your horse is not going to know if he died or got sold or just changed barns. So yeah. if, if the horse did pass away, let let his friend know and get try to get that closure. That doesn't mean the horse is going to be over his grief right then, but at least now he knows what happened and he can begin to move forward with your help. Well, to your point, because like usually on the days that those happen, which are always tough days, but usually like the vet is down there, the barn manager is down there, the owners are down there. There's a lot going on. And so the horses are picking up on all that energy. They're anxious. It's like they don't know what the end result was and it just ends and they like, yeah, it just happened. Like, yeah. So you got to show it. Now that that's um, if, if the horse, say, went to colleague surgery and and didn't make it and you're not going to bring the body home, it's going to be taken care of there. Yeah. Boy, then you don't have a choice and it's really hard because the horse just left and never came back. So, so then what are some other things you can do? Um, you can try to take the horse's mind off it um, and, and help that loneliness by doing things the horse likes and that are gonna be um, comforting, you know, long grooming sessions, long walks, um, maybe just some playful groundwork, like not work work, but just some activities in hand that the horse likes to do. Maybe it's you know, going over poles, or maybe it's um, set up an obstacle course or something with cones or, you know, there's, there's a, you're going to have to be a little bit creative to help, to help your, your horse through this. There's people who say, and I've not tried this, but I believe it, that their body work, like, um, are you familiar with the, the Tellington Jones T-Touch? No. Oh, okay. Well, it's just, it's just a, a, a version of, of hands-on healing that, that horse owners can do themselves. There are people certified in it, but you can certainly learn the techniques yourself. But even having like, like this, there's specific acupressure points that seem to help horses um, go through this process quicker. So it's worth a try if you've got a bodywork person that you, you know, trust that you already work with. That's a great, I was going to ask you the, kind of the bodywork, I was going to say like, even like doing some like potentially like grooming or something like that, that. Yep. It, kind of gives them that sense of, you know, kind and of just grazing, take them out yeah. and hand grazing, spend some quality time with them. Um, 
I do, I do, before we, we, we close this, I want to end up with the, the signs of grief in horses because it, just like people, horses are going to manifest them differently. And so hers is more, I would say, anxious. He's, she said he's running the fence line, he's calling out. Now it's just been, it, hap it just happened that day. So um, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to decrease his anxiety over time. But some horses, they're quieter than normal, mm -hmm. right? Um, and it, this can even become to the point of, of listlessness or depression. Um, they can just be lackluster. They can go off feed. You know, they just, yeah. they're just depressed. Um, uh, waiting by the gate, waiting for the horse to come home. It's very sad to that, see. Um, that they breaks can, heart. Yeah, they can have a re reduced social interaction with other horses. So, so even if you see that, it's so good to have other horses around, but, but they might not feel like, um, you know, hanging out and they might not want to graze with somebody, they might want to be alone. Um, they, they could even have a, uh, a decline in their physical health. Like if they have a, a, a pre-existing condition, it could get worse, mm -hmm. you know, because it's a fix your immune system or they could get a brand new, brand new condition. So be, be observant and watch for that. Well, I was going to say like the added stress of this like change. Yeah. You know, pasture mate and change of routine and all that is absolutely going to have an impact yeah. on their immune system and therefore right. set them up for potential other Yeah, so, so this is a time to spend more time with your horse, pay close attention, help them where you can and um, step in if you need to. Well, Alyssa, I hope this helps you guys. I'm so sorry for again for your loss and hopefully your horse will, you know, start to make a new friend and you guys can kind of start to move forward on that.